Hello, I'm Svetlin Naku from the Software University, SoftUni, and I'm here for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In this lesson, I'll explain the concepts of virtualization, virtual machines, virtual storage, virtual networking, and other virtualization technologies, Cloud and Docker. I will continue with the basic concepts and models in Cloud technologies and the different Cloud computing models. Infrastructure as a service, IaaS, Platform as a service, PaaS, and Software as a service, SaaS. I will explain and demonstrate the technology of software containers, which are like lightweight virtual machines holding print out software and they require less resources to run than a virtual, traditional virtual machine. I will demonstrate in a live code demo how to use Docker, the leading containerization platform. I will show you how to download and run Docker images from Docker Hub, how to start, stop, and manage Docker containers on your laptop or in another Docker engine, and how to play with the Docker engine online playground just to learn how Docker runs and works. Modern front-end developers should learn Docker and working with containers and cloud. This is definitely a good idea. So it's a good start now to get familiar with these technologies right now. Do it. Watch this video and play with Docker to get some hands-on experience. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this video because I publish regularly tech videos, code lessons, and programming tutorials. Now let's start, let's start learning virtualization, cloud, and Docker. Virtualization, cloud environments, and containers are important infrastructural components in modern software development. Virtualization is the concept and technology of running a virtual machine, VM, or virtual environment inside a physical hardware system. Simply said, this is a virtual computer running inside a physical computer. In a single physical machine called host, several virtual machines can run simultaneously. For example, in a Windows desktop host, we can run simultaneously an Android virtual machine plus two Ubuntu Linux virtual machines plus a FreeBSD virtual machine. Storage, memory, networking, and desktops can also be virtual. Virtual storage um, means that you can use remote or virtual storage infrastructure to appear and function exactly like a local hard drive. Example of virtual storage is the desktop Google Drive client, which displays your files from the drive as local files, files on your computer. Virtual memory is a technology where external or remote memory resources can be used as local memory. For example, a USB flash memory can be used as a disk cache in, window, in Microsoft Windows in an effort to increase computing performance. Virtual networking, um, in vi virtual network infrastructure to be uh, distributed over internet without uh, using a physical network equipment. Virtual desktops are virtual desktop environments running in a virtual machines available remotely. For example, um, Developers may use virtual Safari web browser on MacOS for testing a front-end app. Virtualization is a powerful concept and technology in software development and developers should be familiar with it. The concept of cloud environment, cloud infrastructure or just cloud uh, plays an important role in modern computer. The cloud consists of remote computing resources, virtual machines, storage, platforms, and software instances available on demand. The cloud infrastructure, platforms, services, and cloud-based software are typically available for a rent for a fee. 
Some vendors uh, provide free of charge limited versions of their cloud environments. The cloud environments are offered in several service models, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. Infrastructure as a service, IS, uh, provides virtual machines uh, and other computing resources on demand for a fee. Examples of IaaS model is when a company hires virtual servers to host their websites or virtual machines to deploy their apps. Under the IaaS model, uh, developers and system administrators install, manage and maintain their virtual machines, the operating systems, configuration settings, backup, security and everything else. IaaS services are offered by a by the major quality infrastructure providers such as Amazon, AWS, Google Cloud, Azure, DigitalOcean, and Trackspace. The IaaS model is mostly for system administrators and developers who want to completely control their production environments. PaaS, Platform as a Service, provides managed environments for app deployment. Managed means that someone else cares about the hardware, software and its maintenance and guarantees that the requested environment and services are constantly up and running. Developers don't care about the execution environment only for their apps. For example, you have a Python app and you want to host it in the cloud. Instead of renting a cloud server, you could deploy and run the app in the Heroku Pass or in Azure Pass. The Pass model uh, provides cloud environment pro for deploying and running apps where developers do not care about the operating system, software platforms, application servers, database servers, and other details. Developers just send their source code or compiled app to the cloud, configure some settings, and the app is wife and running. Past platforms uh, typically provide a lot of managed platform services. Uh, such as databases, relational and document-based, storage services, video, files, content delivery networks and others, message queue services, logging services, caching services, machine learning and artificial intelligence services. Developers use PaaS to simplify the development, deployment and maintenance of their apps and software systems. The PaaS model uh, is mostly for developers who want to focus on the software rather than on the environment that hosts it. SaaS software as a service provides managed software instances in the cloud. Users pay for hosted software in the cloud or get a limited version for free or use it and use it over the internet. Examples of SaaS services are the Office 365 application suite, Google Docs, and WordPress.com website hosting cloud. The SaaS model is mostly for end users, not for developers. Containers, Docker, and other containerization platforms uh, like Linux containers provide popular infrastructural concept and technology to deploy, run and manage software installations and software environments packaged as container images. A container image is a standalone executable software package uh, bundled together with its dependencies, operating system, code, runtime, 
environments and others and designed to run in a virtual execution environment like Docker. Container images are sets of files and folders, packets as zip, uh, tar or other archive format. When you run a container image, it creates and runs a container. A virtual app called container. Thus, a container is ultimately just a running container image in the host environment. Containers bundle their own software, code, libraries, and configuration files. Containers are isolated from one another. but can communicate with each other other through well-defined channels. The container host could start, stop, pause and resume the containers. A container typically holds an app together with its runtime environment, the operating system, the app runtime, Uh, such as Node.js or Apache plus PHP, the app code uh, or its compiled binaries, such as the WordPress source code in PHP, the app dependencies, uh, such as libraries, frameworks, and configuration settings, like curl, OpenSSL, and Zilip. For example, a WordPress instance can run in a container which runs uh, Linux plus Apache web server plus uh, PHP plus some libraries uh, and holds the WordPress source code for some configuration files. All these components are bundled together in a and run as a single application in an isolated environment. The benefits of the containerization technology are simplified installation, uh, configuration and deployment. Containers allow automated configuration and management of virtual software environments using tools like Kubernetes Containerization is often associated with DevOps. DevOps combines agile principles and technologies to implement continuous delivery, build automation, continuous integration, automated deployment, automated testing, automated releasing, and automatic monitoring of the software systems in the software development process. DevOps engineers often use containers to implement automated provisioning of uh, development, testing and production environments. Docker is the most popular containerization platform. It runs as a service on Linux, Windows and many other cloud environments. Once you run Docker, you can create container images, user Docker file scripts. Docker uh, runs containers from local images or images downloaded from the Docker Hub online repository or from images created by Docker file scripts. Docker containers are virtual app instances uh, which can be started, stopped or put at pause. Developers can connect to existing Docker containers and manage them from the console. Docker containers can expose network ports like HTTP 
port uh, 80 to the host environment. These containers can serve internet traffic from their host machine. Docker is open source software. It runs on Linux, Windows, Mac and Mac. Docker images can run in many cloud environments such as Amazon Elastic Container Service and Docker for Asia. Docker Compose is another uh, container-based technology for defining and running multi-container Docker apps. For example, using Docker Compose, developers can load WordPress plus MySQL in two separate containers with an integration between them so that the WordPress instance stores its data in the MySQL database. Let's play a bit with Docker to demonstrate its power. Uh, you can install Docker on your local machine uh, and run some Docker image. Alternatively, you can use Docker online the Docker Online Playground from HTTPS WAPS dot play with Docker dot com. It requires a free Docker Hub registration. Uh, let's open the Docker Playground from the buff link. Let's play a bit with Docker to demonstrate uh, its power. You can install Docker on your local computer and run some Docker image. Alternatively, you can use the Docker Online Playground from HTTPS, uh, wabs.playwithdocker.com with a free, it requires a free Docker Hub registration. Let's open the Docker background, uh, playground from the buff link. Now, uh, create a new Docker instance and we shall see the Docker console. We can type commands here. Uh, for example, we can type docker-v. Uh, it shows the Docker version. Uh, let's run uh, a container, the following command. The following command uh, downloads a Docker image and turns it in a new container. Uh, docker run hyphen d hyphen p column 8080 column 80 docker samples slash static hyphen site we run the buff command and we wait for its execution it takes uh, some time to download the images and their dependencies the image name is docker sample slash static site Uh, this image will be downloaded from internet from the Docker Hub image repository. The above command also maps the port 80 from the container to port 8080 at the host. This way, the web server running in the container will be visible from the host machine and from internet. The hyphen D uh, option runs the container in background instead of launching its console. Now the container is up and running. On the local machine, we can open the exposed URL, http localhost column 88. 
in the Docker Playground, uh, we uh, the port 8080 is mapped uh, from the Docker host uh, is mapped to automatically created URL. We can open the 8080 link and we can see we shall access the app from the container. This page is served by the web server uh, running inside the, the Docker container. We can view the currently running Docker images, Docker containers by the following command, Docker PS. It lists all containers along with some details about them. Now let's run a second container in parallel. We shall use a similar command, docker run hyphen d hyphen uh, p8081 column 80 docker sample slash static site. Um, we run the same container, but we expose its port 80 to different port on the host machine. We can now have two containers running simultaneously on the host machine. We now we can open uh, the apps from these two containers from their exposed ports. Let's now log in into the first container. Docker egg. Zek hyphen it container name proceed your name bash. This command executes in the specified container. The bash shell in interactive or command line mode. The login is successful and we can type commands. Uh, inside the container. Let's list the local files in the container. ls hyphen ll al. View the content of the main web page served by the nginx web server in uh, the container. cat index.html. Exit from the container's interactive shell. We can stop certain container by the command docker kill plus the process ID or name. We can use the tab key to autocomplete the container name. Now the container is terminated and the exposed uh, websites are no long, well, website is no longer available. This. Note that this is normal if you don't understand everything about containers in Docker. Uh, the idea of this demonstration is to understand the concept of containers as a tool to run prepackaged apps and software environments. Containerization is an important concept in software infrastructure and developers should be familiar with it.
I already made a live coding demonstration about containers and Docker. Uh, you can also experiment with Docker at the Docker Playground from the above link. Try yourself and have fun. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softunit.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free, so join now softunit.org.